Good morning. I'm Jose Rodriguez here at the Hospital for Special Surgery. And today we're going to be reviewing a direct anterior approach to the hip. This patient is a 71 year old man who has previously had a right hip replacement done by us and now his left hip has become his greatest limitation. Part of what we seek to do with this operation is only disturb the specific tissues that are required in order to do the operation effectively. So we're trying to minimize any unnecessary tissue damage. And so the way we achieve this is by understanding what the structures are that will help or hinder us in achieving a particular goal. Clearly, this is a bone-on-bone -bone situation where there is no longer any superior cartilage. We can see this is his anterior inferior iliac spine. That's important because it's a very, in a very lateral position, which means the muscle that attaches to it, which is the rectus femoris, is going to be in a much more lateral position, which effectively deepens the hip. We can see we're seeking to put the socket at the anatomic points of the superior subchondral bone, the teardrop medially and inferiorly just below the teardrop. We set the center of rotation and this patient has a left extremity which is three millimeters shorter than the right because of the loss of the cartilage space. And so we seek to restore that. And so we will measure that during the surgery both radiographically as well as clinically by measuring the legs in the same manner that we would measure it if he were in the office. And so we then set our position of the center of rotation of the socket and the femur relatively so that if the center of rotation of the socket is here and center of rotation of the femur is here, when they are positioned, we're gonna lengthen the leg by exactly that dimension. During the surgery, we're also going to do a provocative test to see if the hip dislocates with external rotation. And that's how we're gonna get a final understanding as to whether the soft tissue tension on the hip will be sufficient to minimize the likelihood of dislocation, which is the fundamental uh, important aspect of doing an operation that has longevity and full function. <laughs>